we all know this first quarter of this school year has been really hard for all of us. And it's been really wonderful to see so many of you here around school over the past few months at marching band practice, at student council's incredible drive-in movie night, at football games, and at our wonderful fall play, Our Town. Still, it's not the same as seeing you and working with you every single day. There is no doubt that we miss you. And this is a really nervous time. Numbers of cases have grown, along with hospitalization rates, both here and throughout the country. And our state officials really are talking to that with their targeted shutdown of some of our activities. For sure, we have to be more careful than ever. We all get it. We all want to be together, and we all want everyone to be safe. And that is exactly what our school board is thinking through right now. They, and all of us, they're just trying to make the best decisions possible about where we go from here. And we are all want to be engaged in that conversation so that you and your family can make your best decisions. So we want to give you all the information and implications possible so you can help decide where we go from here. To give you an overview of all that information, I am so lucky to work with Tama Salisbury. Hi Mustang students and families. Like Eric has said, we don't know exactly how the board vote will impact us in the second semester, but we want to be ready and we want to be able to provide you with the information that you need to make the best decision that you can for your family if you're asked to make a decision on December 2nd. The decision that you'd be asked to make is whether or not you want your student to remain in a virtual mode of instruction or if you'd like they, them to move to a face-to-face um, -face mode of instruction for second semester. To be prepared, we've compiled a list of our current understandings of how the board vote could impact us. And it could impact a lot of things from our course schedules to our course offerings, um, our class sizes, and many other things that we haven't even considered yet. Here is what that document looks like. It was published in the last edition of Mustang Minutes, and it's also linked up on our school website. It's titled, Sharing Our Current Understandings About the Proposed Plan for the Second Semester. We've got some information about the board vote at the top, along with a link to the document that was presented to the board on November 9th. And then at the bottom, we've got some information that will help you understand what could occur regardless of selection and what might occur if you choose the virtual mode of instruction or if you select the face-to-face uh, -face mode of instruction. And we imagine that you're gonna have many questions after reviewing this document. And we wanna be able to collect those questions and answer them for you definitively when we can. To submit a question, click on the link at the bottom of our understandings document. You'll be taken to a parent questions form where you put in your first and last name and email address where we can reach you if we need to and you'll type in your question below. We'll be collecting all of those questions um, in the days ahead. And then after the, the board votes on Monday, November 23rd, um, we will publish a, an FAQ document, very similar to the one that we created during the summer in preparation for our return to learn at the beginning of the school year. I'll give you a sneak peek of what that FAQ is going to look like now. One of the things I wanna note is that when we are answering your questions, we won't answer anything definitively until we have something definitive to share. And um, in terms of what's going to make something definitive, well, we need to first know whether or not the board's gonna vote on the proposed plan. And two, on December 2nd, um, we'll get a lot of information about the numbers of families who opt for the virtual mode of instruction and the face-to-face -face mode of instruction. And that will change a lot of our answers um, to the questions that you're submitting as well. In terms of the organization of the FAQ, it looks, almost, again, almost identical to what we did prior to the beginning of the school year. We've got links to the understandings page and to the plan proposal. Note that we'll be answering questions as a team. I'll be answering questions. Eric will be answering questions. Jason, Joe, and Nikki will also answer questions based on our specialties. And then we will organize your questions into um, categories. Right now we don't have um, many categories because we don't have any questions that have been submitted. But as questions come in, we will filter them into these categories and we will either answer them 
Um, or we might put an answer in there that says, we don't have the answer to this question right now, but we will update this page as soon as we can. If the board does approve the new plan, you'll be getting an email early next week walking you through step by step on how to make your request for either a face to face or virtual mode of instruction for the second semester. The message will be sent to you at the email address that you have on file in Skyward. Thanks so much, everyone, and take care. We all get it. None of us knows the future. But what we can do is to be really clear and really honest about the decisions ahead of us. Our role as school folks is to think through the information and implications as much as possible, to share those with you in an open and balanced way so that you, moms and dads, can request what you think is best for you, your family, and by extension for all of our daughters and sons. Our commitment is to continue to communicate, to continue to engage with you in the weeks and months ahead. And we are so, so grateful for you communicating and engaging with us. That's what healthy communities do. So thank you so, so much. Now please, mask up, keep healthy distances, be safe, and even during these difficult times, actually no, especially during these difficult times, it is a great day to be a Mustang. Thank you, folks.